Oh, we're gonna try and recreate Magnolia Bakery's banana pudding. Oh yeah. So back when it was safe to travel, one of the last places I was able to visit was New York City. While I was there, I had a bakery tour uh, where I had a list of all these famous spots I wanted to check out, and then I just crossed them off the list. You know, and it was like Milk Bar and Levain Bakery, all these spots that have the famous sweets that I'm always trying to recreate. I checked them out. Authentic New York black and white cookie. At the top of the list was a place called Magnolia Bakery. And they're famous for cupcakes, but they also have this banana pudding, which I couldn't decide which one I wanted at the time. I was like, the cupcakes, the pudding. And I don't know what I'm gonna get yet. It's just gonna be a wait and see kind of thing. I called an audible at the last second and grabbed the pudding, and it ended up being the best thing that I had that day. I'm in love. And that's saying something, because I had a ton of sweets that day. Since that moment, I've been meaning to recreate this thing. I just haven't had the means to do so. That ends today. So this summer, I was able to go back to Canada. You know, it was like two weeks of quarantine, see your friends and family, then travel back here, two weeks of quarantine. It's four weeks of quarantine for one free week. It is what it is at this point. So there's this one ingredient that is in the banana pudding that you can't find anywhere in Europe. So when I went to Canada, I found it. Actually, my father-in-law found it, but we found it and I have it. Open up the baking drawer. Ooh, hello. These, Nilla Vanilla Wafers. It's on Amazon, but it's like a fortune to get it here. There's no like finding a substitute or finding a workaround when it comes to this ingredient. I had to go all the way back to Canada to find these things. So if you're gonna make this banana pudding from home, you need this, this, <laughs> you need it. Also, my mom picked me up a new apron. Okay, so I'm gonna make my own vanilla pudding from scratch. If you follow along to the recipe, all you need is the instant stuff, but that is cheating today. So, um, challenge accepted. One third cup of sugar, two tablespoons of cornstarch, and one eighth teaspoon of salt. Two cups of milk, two egg yolks, slightly beaten, two tablespoons of butter, two teaspoons of vanilla. Saucepan would be good. Sugar and cornstarch and salt. I need to bring that to a boil. And while that's heating up, I'm gonna gradually add in my milk, gradually. And don't stop stirring because you don't want the cornstarch to get all clumpy, because that sucks. It's burning on the bottom of this pan. So this show is all about honesty. Um, <laughs> I mean, honesty, right? I burned the milk to the bottom of this pan. So I just switched pans so that the brown bits don't get into the pudding. You know, we're all friends here, it's okay. So bring this to a boil in your new pan, if you did what I did. I'm gonna add my egg yolks to another bowl because I didn't think this through. Half of this mixture into the egg yolks and then stir it into the egg yolks and then I'm gonna add it back into the boiling mixture. Continue to stir until it starts to boil. It's boiling, cool. Now what? Okay, this is looking like pudding-y. I'm gonna add in the butter. Shh, don't do it like that because that was stupid. Vanilla extract, stir that in too. Pour this pudding mixture into the dish, yes. And I'm gonna chill this for an hour. You gotta cover it with something, don't forget. Okay, we're good. See ya. They're just like um, cookie biscuits, kind of got a crunch to them and very heavy on the vanilla. Need my pudding. I can definitely work with this, although it is a bit runnier than I wanted it to be. Honestly, this is great. So I need four cups of bananas that I need to slice these up. Under three cups of bananas. Shit, these are turning brown. Just cover those until I need them. So it's hard to gauge how much of each ingredient I need right now because I don't know how much of my pudding equals uh, one packet of instant pudding. I need heavy cream. It says three cups of heavy cream. How many cups of 
cream is in 600 milliliters. 600 milliliters is 2.54 cups. So if you're following along exactly to this recipe, then I guess you would need sweet condensed milk. But since I already made my own pudding, I don't need this. This was for the pudding mix. I don't need sweet condensed milk. So we're using the stand mixer, quick cameo, my heavy cream in with the nothing because there's nothing in this. So I'm just gonna whip up this cream until it reaches stiff peaks. And I overmixed it because I was playing around with my camera. That is not stiff peaks, that is borderline butter. Um, but that is my mistake. <laughs> Took my eye off the prize for like literally a second. I'll make it work. So I'm gonna take my vanilla pudding and I'm gonna fold it gently into my now uh, buttery looking cream. I've gone off book and I've mixed together very whipped cream with the vanilla pudding that I made and the balance is off. Tastes more like cream than vanilla pudding. And uh, I'm gonna add a little vanilla back into this like that and mix that in. Will that solve my problem? Close enough, whatever. We'll get a dish, any old dish. Start with the wafers, then you got the bananas, this pudding mix. Repeat the process. And then I'm just gonna use whatever's left. More wafers, why not? Rest of the pudding. Okay, on top, I'm just gonna crumble up some of these wafers as well. Cover this up with plastic wrap. Oh yeah! And this goes in the fridge. So there is a reason why you need to wait so long before you can Enjoy this. It's been four hours and you can wait as long as eight hours. The reason is because of the bananas, they're gonna turn brown. And these cookies, they need to be a very soft, mushy texture. I think that was like the highlight for me when I was in New York. But there's this cookie wafer thing. And that is what sends it into another stratosphere. Let's go to the drawer of misfit jars. Uh, perfect, actually. This was for salsa and now it's for pudding. perfect match to the Magnolia Bakery pudding that I had. If you're not gonna be traveling to New York anytime soon, I'm assuming you're not, then you can just make it at home and you're gonna taste the real thing. Actually, this doesn't have a long lifespan. Uh, the bananas turn brown, so you gotta eat it fast. Guys, that's all I got today. Thank you so much for watching. A huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon. That is it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.